Today, in this video, I'll be showing you how to make the inner A and B plates. You should first download and print off the inner A and B templates from the website www.tesla-turbines.com Carefully cut out the templates. Glue the template to a suitably sized piece of acrylic. Using a Dremel tool or a fret saw, cut round the pattern until you have a reasonably accurate circle. Once you've cut out a reasonably good circle, offer it up to the turbine housing. If it fits, then you're finished. If it doesn't fit, then you'll need to take sandpaper and sand the edges down carefully until it does fit. Now centre punch the centre of the circle. I've just drilled a 6mm hole through the centre of the inner A plate. In an earlier video, I showed you how to make the outer A plate. And at that time, I told you that the central hole would have to be eventually drilled to clear the 15mm shaft. But I wasn't going to do it just then. And the reason for that is that we're going to glue together the inner and outer A plates. And we're going to use the fact that we've drilled a 6mm hole to centralise the two plates using the butt of the 6mm drill. These two plates are now concentric. I will be gluing the acrylic together with a standard acrylic glue. For the B plate, proceed as for the A plate, except once you've assembled the two plates, cut out this template, centre point all the outside holes and drill each hole in one pass. Once you've drilled the outside holes, drill the centre hole to 16mm to clear the 15mm spindle. The outside holes can be, well I've drilled them 20 millimetres but you could make them smaller or larger if you wish. Similarly, the A plate should also be drilled to 16 millimetres. Now you can have the satisfaction of trial fitting the parts together. In the next video I'll discuss how to make the bearing housing. 